Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Disjunction. And in the last episode, Spider fought her way through the heavily guarded penthouse of the Red Lady Club to try and track down Tony Kang, the leader of the Harmonious Path. Now, we did not find Kang there, but we did find the location to his main safe house. So Spider is on her way there, and hopefully we'll be able to track him down. In the meantime, um, we've got an upgrade kit here that we need to use. Reduces the cooldown of the nano battery ability by 5 seconds. We get a speed boost after it's depleted. Increase the radius of the pulse grenade. Um, I'll tell you what, let's reduce the cooldown of the nano battery ability. See if that works out well for us. We've also got 20 XP here. Increase spider's energy by two. Increase the time it takes for enemies to detect spider by 0.1 seconds. I like that. And increase the attack speed of the shock glove by 10%. So it's not like a karate chop or anything. She basically has Black Widow's like gauntlets. All right. I think that's going to work out for us. Let's do it. Yeah, this definitely looks like a safe house. And I just jumped right in, didn't I? Didn't even take time to get a lay of the land. So far, so good, though. And a turret. And a Roomba. Wow, that was very fortunate of us. Alright, so you patrol in just a little rectangle design. I like that. Okay. Another turret bites the dust. I hear a spider robot. Not particularly happy about that, so we got this guy. Hmm. There we are. Thank you, Hollow Kitty. <laughs> Hollow Kitty. <laughs> if that's not a uh, trademark, it should be. Alright, so from what I'm seeing here, this is a nice safe spot. And we might be able to hit these spider droids right where it hurts. Alright, we got an item to the north of us. I kind of want to just go ahead and clear the room, though. Oof. Well, maybe I'll have to go get that item. What we got in terms of resistance? Oh, that is a key card. So that is definitely needed. Want to make sure we hide the bodies behind tables and such so we don't have to worry about people finding them. There we are. Good job, spider. And it looks like that may loop around, but let's check over here just to be safe. Oh, we got double turrets. Double turrets with double trouble. 
So what we need to do here is run right behind this. What is that? Oh, God. Cool. I saw you in RoboCop. There we are. Just have to find that sweet spot. And there is a wonderful checkpoint. And we have actually not been hit, though that's probably going to change fairly quickly. Um, let's go the opposite direction of the mech of death. Call me crazy, but I just think that that's going to be... It's going to work out for us. Okay, we got a door there. So that's the way out. I'm curious what's over here. Looks like the upgrade kit is on the first floor. Oh wow, that is a lot of nonsense. Well, so much for that. Man, that was really close. Man, I just hear that thud, thud, thud. Okay. We got hit once and most of our health is gone. That is a shame. Yeah. Whew. Oh, you're gonna see that, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Maybe we need to go ahead and clean... No, we already have the checkpoint. Like, all of our... All of our sweet spots have pretty much been dealt with. So let's do... Put the hollow kitty right there. Take care of the droid. There we go. That's how we deal with that. I'm not sure if there's even anything useful other than ammo. Okay, you gonna see that body? No? Alright. Ah, uh, just another pathway. Well, boo. Ammo that we didn't need. So obviously the upgrade kit is over here next to the terrible beast mech. Never mind. How does one get... Oh, okay, I see. I see. I kind of want to test my luck. So we've got health that way. We see another key. Well, we may be able to... Meh. Oh, yeah. I don't even know if the grenade's gonna handle this. Hello, kitty? Ow. Okay, so they explode. That's their gimmick. They're nasty. 
they'll completely just destroy you. But we're back up to full health, so that's nice. And it looks like that's the only heavy mech on this floor. I'm not hearing the dulcet tones of death. <laughs> that scared me. I was like, oh dear, here we go. Strangely fortunate. Oh, I spoke too soon. Okay, we got another mech here. Who did not care about such things. So he has one blind spot. Just one. There we go. That's how we deal with that. No lure. Ooh, they're in the same patrol line now. I could conceivably Get them both. Let's see. All right. I like it. I'm going to ignore that for right now. And get out of here. Now all I have to do is find Kang. Easier said than done, but... Oh, that's just not nice. And I thought that the... Okay. Explosions do trigger patrols close by. Good to know for future reference. So do we go this way or do we go south? I guess we'll go this way. Oop. Ah. Almost got him. I took a little bit of chin music there. Nothing horrible. Nothing a nice med kit wouldn't fix. If one were made available to us. Key card that way. Crap. Wish we could, uh, was there something that we could have changed the cooldown? Whoo! Holy crap! Okay. I will take that. There's the way out. So we'll ignore that for right now. We still need to get our, uh, are reading. And I don't know if that helped matters much. Okay, we got health and ammo. I'll take one of those.
no checkpoint, which is very, very uh, sad. Glad you did not have a gun. There's a checkpoint for us. We're gonna have to earn it though. Oh, 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 laser, laser, laser. All right. We're good? I think we're good. For now. At least you're gonna make me work for this checkpoint, aren't you, game? Oh, holy crap. Gimme. Awesome. Well, so far, so good. Like that range. It was, it, it was actually impressive that he checked his six after discovering the body. It didn't really help him much, but... I do appreciate it. Good stuff. I like to think we, we got a significant amount of the floor already cleared before we hit that checkpoint. Ah. Okay. I'm trying not to use the grenade so much because that draws a lot of attention. Drag the bodies back here. There we are. Much better. Oh. Good stuff, good stuff. Now. You have to find the sweet spot to take out the spider droids. One of them, okay. Right here is good. Yeah, I got one, two, multiple gates in the way. That's what we need. In the gate. Oh, okay. So it's actually the way. Huh. That's an interesting uh, floor design. We haven't seen that yet. One door. And we will wait. Just a guard away at his post. Nothing to see here.
We're getting into situations where dragging the bodies is actually kind of crucial to our overall success. Ow. Okay. That is a clear floor. I didn't see any... Um, anything to read. So, I'm going to assume that we're in good shape. Spider. I knew Lau would send someone to kill me after what I did to Justin. But I definitely wasn't expecting you. I thought you were done being his fucking lapdog. He didn't send me. I came on my own. So you finally broken free from his leash. What do you want? Tell me about Halasar. <laughs> the itsy bitsy spider is caught in someone else's web. Halasar appreciates strength and is willing to back it when he sees it. He gave us cash and weapons to crush our enemies and take control of New York's underworld. And what did he ask in return? Nothing. He wanted a war between us and the Russians, and I was happy to give it to him. If you care about the future of the Harmonious Path, you let this war play out. Do you have anything else to tell me? Yeah. Stop wasting my fucking time and kill me already. Halasar obviously wanted this war for a reason, and I doubt it was to help your ambitions. You don't know what you're talking about. There's another mysterious backer that supported the Russians and pushed them to go to war with the Harmonious Path. You're being played against each other. Bullshit. No one stands to gain from a war between us and the Russians except for the winner. War isn't a zero-sum game. People always find a way to profit from it, even if they're not directly involved. If the Harmonious Path and the Russians really are being pitted against each other, what are you going to do about it? Without me, the Harmonious Path will crumble to dust. Decades of conflict within it, from within and without will have been for nothing. Are you prepared to accept that? The Harmonious Path thrived before you were in power, and it will continue to exist long after you're gone. It just needs the right person in charge. I'm the right person. No one else has what it takes to lead. Who the fuck do you plan to put in charge? Oh, man. No, Spider wouldn't take a leadership path. That's not her style. I'm going to let Lao take control of the Harmonious Path. He isn't perfect, but he's the only capable leader we have left. So, you are his lapdog after all. You might think that getting rid of me counts as winning, but you better think about the type of person Lao is. Your father used to live for bloodshed. He and I aren't so different. Better the devil you know. Besides, Lao would never betray his people the way you did. I want you to know that I killed Justin personally. I stabbed him in the gut twisted the knife and watched him bleed out. I enjoyed murdering him. He was weak, pitiful, unfit to lead the harmonious path, and I don't regret a fucking thing. Hmm. Oh man, what would Spider do? I don't know if Spider would let the cops deal with Kang. No, I think she would, yeah. At least Justin led the harmonious path for years. You barely lasted three weeks. Think about that in the last few moments before you have, before I kill you. Just fucking get on with it. There, I guess Spider actually used her gun.
I like that Joe and Spider have the revenge killings while Frank was just, you know, hey, you took my eyes. Oh, speaking of that, monorail. This is where we get the band together. Are they still pointing guns at each other? No? Well, that's progress. Okay, I can't talk to Frank. Hey, I'm glad you make it, made it back in one piece. This is Frank. He and I have been comparing notes and trying to make sense of everything we found. And what have you found out? Nothing Joe didn't already tell you, Halasa. Uh, Horwitz and Demir are encouraging a gang war, and they're somehow related to civil unrest at Central City as well as a break-in at Millennium Industries. On top of that, they're nearly impossible to trace. Kang didn't know anymore. I took the terminal that Kang used to communicate with Halasar. Maybe we'll get lucky and manage to trace him. Well, we have nothing else to go on, so let's hope it works. I'll make us some coffee while you work on the terminal. Alright. Hey, Frank. Frank's olive branch. Good cup of joe. Not this joe, though. Speaking of which, we are back in control of joe. Any luck? No, this terminal is just like the others. I've tried every trick I know, but I can't trace the source of Halasar's communications. So what now? I'm not really sure. We have nothing else to go on. Well, I've got some gin we can drink while we try and think of something. I prefer whiskey, but it'll have to do. Many cocktails later. So, uh, Spider, is that your real name? It's my hacker alias. The English translation of it, anyway. And how did you become a hacker in the first place? Doesn't seem like an obvious career choice. I'm good with computers. How did you become a private eye? Eh, I was a shitty cop. Is that your terminal ringing, Joe? Joe, it's Lau. There's something we need to discuss. Are you free to meet? Well, that depends. What's this about? It'll be easier to explain in person. I'm not playing any tricks or asking for any favors. You have my word. Ban, where should I meet you? At my workshop in Chinatown. I'll send you the address. If Spider's with you, have her come along. Okay. I hear these things are awfully loud. From Frank's apartment to Lau's workshop. Watch, it's going to be a trap. Oh. Thanks for coming, Joe. Now, what did you want to discuss? Before we get to that, I see you've brought an associate. Is he on the level? Well, you can ask him yourself if you want. I'm not here to interfere. Believe me, I've got enough shit on my plate right now. Hmm. Alright. Joe, do you remember the neural implant I had you steal from the Bishop Cross facility? Sure. Well, I had my gearheads examine it after you brought it to me. Turns out it wasn't manufactured by Bishop Cross. They stole it from Millennium Industries. Why would they do that? Millennium is the leader in artificial intelligence research. Bishop Cross have a huge R&D team, but they lag behind Millennium in areas like machine learning and neurotech. This implant must be something special if the people running Bishop Cross were willing to go to such lengths to get their hands on it. What does the implant do? It's hard to determine specifics from our equipment here. I had originally intended to sell it to one of our buyers in Shenzhen rather than study it. From what we can tell, however, it heightens a user's reflexes and mental acuity. It sounds handy for a company that provides private soldiers. My thoughts exactly. 
we made sure to disable the implant's transponder and sever its connections to cyberspace, preventing it from communicating with Bishop Krauss. But there's something else, which is why I asked you to come. Go on. The implant was trying to send out a signal before we managed to shut it off. We think it's some sort of distress ping to let Bishop Krauss know it's been stolen. That's why I asked you to bring Spider. And let me guess, you want me to trace this signal back to its source? I do. If Bishop Krauss having this implant is related to the break-in at Millennium Industries, this will have city-wide repercussions. I don't want anything else from this except for the truth. This is the last thing I'll ever ask from you. Fine. Give me the implant in a few hours. A few hours later? Done. The signal's being sent from some sort of data center in Midtown. 35th and Park Avenue. Great. Joe, I want you to go there and investigate that facility. Believe it or not, you're still the best man I know for this kind of job. I believe it. I'll go. Excellent. I'll get you prepared. I didn't want to say anything in front of Lau, but it seems to me like Horwitz might be working with Bishop Krauss. He contracted John Mason to take responsibility for the break-in at Millennium Industries, and somehow Bishop Krauss ends up with one of their implants? That sounds a bit convenient. I was thinking the same thing. Eh, yeah, this is our only lead. If Bishop Krauss really is working with Horwitz, then that can also connect them to the Mir and Halisar. This still leaves a whole lot of unanswered questions, though. Well, if we're lucky, the data center will hold some of the answers. I'll come back here once I'm done. Good luck, Joe. Be careful. Thanks. All right, guys. Well, we got our next target. I like the current base of operations we have, though. That's cool. But uh, we will see what happens when Joe heads uh, in in the next episode. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.